Hi, this is Rose Holman, and I'm so excited to announce our first video interview with J. Grace Pennington. Welcome, Grace. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, I'm Grace Pennington. I am a 24-year-old writer and filmmaker from Texas. I live with my family of 11. I'm the oldest of nine on a little country farm, and just here to share with you a little bit about my experiences in filmmaking. What do you like best about filmmaking? Probably my favorite thing about filmmaking, which is my favorite thing about really any form of storytelling, is the ability to take something we have in our minds, whether it's a lesson, an experience, or just something out of our imagination, and share it with other people. And sometimes this can encourage them, it can make them laugh, or it can just give them a really great experience that otherwise they would never have been able to have. Tell us about some of the film projects you've worked on. I've worked on a variety of different film projects. Uh, probably the biggest one was a documentary called Journey of Honor, which is about the family's responsibility to care for the elderly and infirm. And that documentary was a semi-finalist at the 2008 San Antonio Independent Christian Film Festival. I've also made several short films, some of which are available online, mostly comedies. I've done voice acting in one animated film called Tentacle Reef. And I've also written a few screenplays. I've worked as a screenwriter on the Month of the Novel web series and really enjoyed helping out with that project. You've also written several books. Tell us about them. I'm also a writer and I write a variety of different things from articles to short stories to poetry, but mainly novels. Um, my three novels that I have out right now that are, are self-published. Two of them are from my young adult Christian sci-fi series, and those are about a young woman who works on a starship with her father, who's a doctor, and they just have all kinds of adventures. The third one is a western mystery called Never, which is about two brothers battling corruption in the Old West, um, and just has a theme of never giving up. And currently I'm working on publishing my fourth novel, which is the third in my Firmament series. and. It's called Machiavellian, and I'm hoping to self-publish it this October. What is the biggest lesson that you've learned from filmmaking? One of the biggest things I learned from filmmaking is that it really does expose your character, actually, and not only in the types of stories that you choose to tell and what you choose to put in them, but also in your behavior as you go about the process, because it is very stressful, it's a very big job, and um, and the way you treat people and the way you conduct yourself and the choices you make while doing that, it really is going to um, reveal your true character. And that can be um, frustrating or even embarrassing or difficult, but it really helps you grow and it's a really good thing. And that's just something I really treasure about being able to do this. When you're not working on a book or a film, what do you enjoy doing? So when I'm not making films or writing, um, I have a lot of other hobbies as well. I like um, playing and listening to music, I like singing, I like hanging out with my big family, talking to friends, taking walks, uh, reading, watching movies and television shows, uh, looking up at the stars, hanging out with my horse, a lot of different things. My number one advice for other homeschool filmmakers is some advice that I got from uh, filmmaker Robert Rodriguez. Um, he's very well known in Hollywood for making films on a very small budget, very creatively. He's the director of the Spy Kids movies. And what he said that really changed the way that I go about filmmaking is that if you want to do filmmaking, you just have to get out there and do it. And you can't sit around and wait for the perfect equipment or the perfect story and you can't just sit around wishing you could do it. You just have to take what you have, even if that's just a little iPod camera, and get out there and do it and keep working and practicing and doing it as much as you can and learn as much as you can by actually doing it. And that's the way that you can be successful. So thank you for having me on the site. I've enjoyed doing this. Bye.